Hi, this is a overview video for the 3D Runner game kit. 3D Runner is a mobile ready complete project on the Unity Asset Store. After you purchase the kit, there is going to be a link import and then you can import all the assets including code, model, audio sources into your existing project. Let's close in the window. Here, I already have the project imported. In order to find the scene, just go to the folder. It's called 3D Platformer Head Piggy. In the scene folder, there is a scene named Scene. After you open this scene, you will be finding all the game objects. Just click play. You have the game going on here. As you can see, I am using NGUI for the UI solution. You can import the standard version you have purchased to the current project by replacing the NGUI folder in the project, or you can use any other UI solution you prefer. Let's click play. So this game has only attack, jump, move left and right. Well, as you can see, I have the game ready. Let's go back to the main menu. Now I'm going to show you some elements in the project. Most people would like to swap the player. So I have a player that's already created in the scene, but it's been disabled. You can see here, let's switch to the scene tab, activate it, just pressing the button F. You can find my player, it's here. You can swap this with the model you like, just replacing this with this model called Pick. As long as your model has the animation called Run in the animations, then the, the animation will be fine. Also, I implemented Crash and Jump animation in the player animation script. You can add them if you like to add more animation details to your character. Let's disable this, get back to the game. The audio manager has all the audios that's been used in this game. I left the game audio and menu audio empty. If you would like to add those audios to your game, just go ahead and create the audio resource and drag them to those two fields. In the controller, the progress manager controls the speed and uh, how many easy paths the player is going to have when starting the game. So the starting speed is the speed the player initially starting at. The progress speed is the speed adds up to the runner as the player goes. The first easy paths are the numbers of tiles that's been created without enemies. This way, you will be giving the player a little bit buffer to start in the game, let them warm up, and let them get used to the game. In the score controller, we control all the levels. You can see under here, I have one level, it's called cloud level, let's choose this. You will find there is a level cloud, it's being saved under prefabs, level contents, level cloud. The level cloud has a script called level attached to this. This game object stored all the information of a level. So for example, you can see here for the straight path, I have two of them. One is called straight path cloud. One is called straight path cloud jump. The differences between them is one of them is a straight path. Another one actually has a crack in the middle, so the player actually needs to jump to pass a level, which makes the game a little bit more difficult. And the turn left, turn right path, it's a L shape of the level that the player actually have to turn to pass. And the drop item list are all the items you would like to create on the level. Here I have all the coins and the enemy, which is a farmer then they will be dynamically created on the level. And the level length is set to 50, 
which means after this tile has been generated for 50 times and the game is going to load next level so if there is no more level the game will be repeating the same level over and over again so let's go to the menu controller here controls all the game menus so in the UI route I have all the UI stored including a main menu, the game hut and pause menu. You can change them here as you wish. I think that's it for this video and I uh, hope you like the kit and uh, have a great day. Bye!